Hi everyone, this is Spike here. If you want to get into Mario Party Superstars modding, you've come to the right place. This video will focus on changing voice clips. Perhaps you need to change voice clips for your new character, or there's a couple of mods you want to combine with unique voices. This step-by-step -step guide should help you with that. So let's get right into this. Before we start, let's go over the stuff you're going to need for this video. First of all, you'll need Switch Toolbox by Killzex Gaming. The second thing you'll need is Citric Composer. I'll be leaving the links to these two in the description of the video. You'll then need your new voice clips of course, as well as an extract from the game. So let's get started. The only file you're going to need for this video is the one called Resident.beer. This stores all of the sound effects in the game. Copy this file from your game extract to the new place that you would like to store the file. Open Switch Toolbox. Now open the Resident.beer inside of Switch Toolbox by simply dragging the file into the window. Expand the contents as shown in the video. Extract the add-on audio project file. Click on the file and click export, then choose the place you would like to export it to. The file should be in FSPJ format. If you haven't already, you're going to need to show file name extensions in the file explorer. Click on View, then click the checkbox next to File Name Extensions. Now select Add on Audio Project and click Rename, or you can just press F2. At the end of this file name, type .bfsar. This will change the extension to BFSAR. Open Citric Composer. Now open the Add on Audio Project file. As you've changed the extension to BFSAR, Citri Composer can recognize this file. Expand the Files folder, and scroll all the way down until you get to the yellow icons with a speaker inside. Here are all the available sound effects you can change. The ones that end with PC, and then a number, 01, 02, 03, etc are the ones for the playable characters. The ones that end with NPC are the ones for the NPC characters. The one that ends with stamp are the ones for the stamp sound effects. So some of these you may want to change as well. You should have decided on a character you want to change by now. And we're going to be putting Bowser Jr. over Mario, so we're going to want to change Mario sound effects. Double click the one you want to change, so in this case it's PC01. Now let's change the voice clips. Expand Waves. Now you are presented with all of the voice clips for Mario, or the character of your choice. You can play these sound effects to hear what they sound like by using the play button. To replace a voice clip, right click it, click replace, and then select the new voice clip you want to replace it with. The first few voice clips are usually for jumping and hitting stuff and stuff like that. Most of these voice clips are shuffled though so you're going to have to go through each one manually to find what you want to replace it with. However the character death voice clip is usually number 22. And for most characters, the character turn start voice clip is usually the second to last one in the list. That isn't the case for Mario though, and his starting voice clip is number 31. Let's go! Before you exit the window, make sure you click file and save. It may take several seconds to save depending on how many voice clips there are. Once that's done, close the window. So one thing I forgot to mention in this video is you can actually replace a full set of voice clips by right clicking on the one you want to replace. This can be useful if you're combining voice mods, like say you have Bowser Jr's voice in one mod and you have Lucky 2's voice in another mod. All you would do is export Lucky 2's 
set of voice clips from his add-on audio project and then put it into your new one. Now you're going to want to save the main add-on audio project file. So click file and save again. Once that's saved, you can now close Citric Composer. Now you're going to want to change the extension back to FSPJ. Select add-on audio project, click rename, and then remove the BFSAR extension. Finally, go back into Switch Toolbox, click on add-on audio project, replace it, and choose your updated add-on audio project file. Now save the resident.bia file in Toolbox. You should now have your updated resident.bia file with your new sound effects. Let's try it out in game. And there we go, it seems to have worked, Bowser Jr has all his voice clips there. So thank you for watching, I hope this video helps, please like and subscribe if it did, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.